Parliament passes a 5 lakh 68 crore Dhaka budget for 2021 fiscal. Country sees highest COVID-19 deaths, 64 in a day, and 3,682 contaminations in the capital in the last 24 hours. Worry in capital to go under three-week lockdown from the 4th of July. Two more bodies found as capsized launch morning bird salvaged probe body to start working tomorrow. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina directs assistance for journalists regardless of political affiliation, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud, distributing checks. Government distributing relief materials among flood-affected people as major rivers including the Bodda and Jomuna continue to rise. COVID-19 global death toll crosses 5,9,000. The number of infections top 1 crore 4 lakh 67 thousand. And in Spanish La Liga major match, Messi's Barcelona take on Atletico Madrid tonight. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Nafiz Intiazuddin welcoming you to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chotogram Center. You just heard the headlines. We have details of those and other stories coming up. Jatya Shong showed past the 5,68,000 crore Dhaka new national budget for fiscal year 2021 with a target of attaining 8.2% GDP growth through continuing the momentum of the economy with all required activities after tackling the impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. Finance Minister H. Mustafa Kamal moved the Appropriations Bill 2020 to the House today seeking budgetary allocation of Dhaka 7,59,642 crore, which was passed by voice vote. The finance minister earlier dubbed the proposed budget as economic transition and pathway to progress. Following the proposal mooted in the House by the finance ministry for the parliamentary approval of the appropriation of funds for meeting the necessary development and non-development expenditure of the government, the minister's concern plays justification for the expenditure by their respective ministries through 59 demands for grants. Finance Minister A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal on the 11th of June had placed a 568,000 crore Dhaka budget which also aimed at containing inflation within 5.4% for the next fiscal year, overcoming all challenges and impacts of COVID-19 global pandemic. The sunken launch, a morning bird, has been salvaged from the Buriganga River of Shambhata area in the capital. The launch was salvaged at noon today. The salvage team recovered two more dead bodies and with this the death toll rose to 34. On the other hand, the Buriganga bridge at the Postugola point cracked after being hit by the salvation ship Protoi. For this reason, all modes of vehicular movement remain suspended from Monday night. But the traffic movement is running to Mawa via Babu Bajar Bridge. The probe committee, formed to investigate the incident of the launch capsize in the Buriganga River, will take testimony of the witnesses at Shodhaghat in Dhaka tomorrow. Convener of the committee, Joint Secretary of Development, Mohammad Rafiqul Islam Khan, requested the witnesses of the launch capsize and surviving passengers to be present at the VIP terminal of BIWTA at Shodagard from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. 
Bangladesh saw the highest single-day deaths from COVID-19 on Tuesday. 64 people died from the disease during the last 24 hours. Additional Director General of the Directorate General of Health Services, Professor Dr. Nasima Sultana, came up with this disclosure of their daily health bulletin today. Since the 18th of March, the government said 1,847 people have died of COVID-19. The health authorities have confirmed 3,682 cases after testing 18,426 samples in the last 24 hours. Besides, a total of 1,45,483 and 7,66,460 corona tests carried out in Bangladesh have turned out to be positive. এ পর্যন্ত সুস্থ হয়েছেন 59624 জন 24 ঘন্টায় মৃত্যুবরণ করেছেন 64 জন এবং এ পর্যন্ত 1847 জন The government has decided to allow offices and other workplaces to continue to operate on a limited scale until the 3rd of August amid the worsening coronavirus epidemic the opening hours of shops and stores will also be extended by three hours from the 1st of July. Shops will be allowed to remain open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. until the 3rd of August. Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has said journalist-friendly Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has directed to assist journalists irrespective of party and opinion. He made the remarks while distributing checks among the journalists as corona help promised by the Prime Minister from the Fund of Journalists Welfare Trust at the PIB conference room in the capital today. The Information Minister said the government will give 10,000 Dakar's grants to 1,500 journalists in the first stage during the ongoing coronavirus period, and this will be continued. Honorable Pradhan Mantri, Jonathan Sheikh Hasina, Ajahn Shangbadik Bandhu, Pradhan Mantri. Tini Amake Shangbadik De Shahata Dawar Jonne, Babustana Arjunno, Bola Chilen. সেই মোতাবেক আমরা যে সমস্ত সাংবাদিক এই করোনা ভাইরাসের মধ্যে চাকরিচ্যুত হয়েছে এবং যারা দীর্ঘদিন ধরে বেতন পাচ্ছে না যারা অনেক দিন ধরে চাকরি যাদের নাই এই তিনটি ক্যাটাগরিতে আমরা সহায়তা দেওয়ার সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করি এককালীন 10000 টাকা করে এবং আমরা প্রাথমিক পর্যায়ে এই খাতে অর্থাৎ Corona virus er prakite je sahayata karmoshuchi shei karmoshuchite amra sangbadik kollan trust er pokkho theke 2 koti 30 lakh takar moto amra boraddho diyechila amar chesta chilo aro kibhabe ekhane orther poriman vritti kora jay ebong shesh porte aro 2 koti taka ei khate boraddho deya hoyeche orthat चार कोटी तीस लाख कोटा कर बेशी एक हाथे हमरा इपुर्जन्तो बराद्धो दिए थे हमरा सबसे में बोले इस ची मानव प्रधानमंत्री हमादेर नितेश दिए थे लेन जाते सब दाल मोतेर शंभादी कर पाए कारण हमरा माने करी जे राष्ट्र सभार शुत्रण राष्ट्रीय सहायता सभाई पेते हबे छारा देशेर दाल मोत निर्मिशेशे सभाई के अंतर भुक्त करे there has a Shangbadi Kermote Amraji Pratui for Jay, a Onodanti, the worship Dantoni Achilam, she Kormoshiti Achkabra Shulkochi. PIB Director General Zafar Wajid, Bangladesh Journalist Welfare Trust Member, Sector Mafuzul Haq, Bangladesh, Federal Union of Journalists President, Mullah Jalal, Dhaka Union of Journalists President, Kudus Afrad, and General Secretary Sajad Alam Khan also spoke, among others. Wari is set to become the second area in Dhaka 
to go under lockdown from the 4th of July with similar restrictions that were placed on East Raja Bazaar. The lockdown curbs will be in effect for 21 days. The health directorate has identified eight areas of worry as high-risk red zones where the lockdown restrictions will be enforced. The areas include Tipu Sultan Road, Jahangir Road, Taka Silat Highway from Baldha Garden to Joy Kali Temple, Lalmuni, Lalmini Road, Hair Road, Wari Road, Rankin Road and Nawab Road, Dhaka South City Mayor Barrister Fozlu North Tapush disclosed this following an emergency meeting of Lockdown Implementation Central Management Committee today. He said only two roads of Wari will be open for entry and leaving during this lockdown. All the other roads and services will remain closed or the pharmacies will remain open. Food items and other daily essentials will have to be purchased online. Barrister Fozlin Uttapush said concerned author authorities concerned are also taking measures to treat infected patients in Wari. While the city corporation will set up an isolation centre at Taka Metropolitan General Hospital. Coronavirus sample collection booths will also be set up in Wari, he added. Due to incessant rainfall and onrush of waters from the upper stream, the waters of all the main rivers of the country have continued to rise. The flood forecasting and warning centres are the flood situation in Kurigram, Gaibandha, Jamalpur, Shirajgonj, Tangail and Shunamgonj may deteriorate further, while the flood situation in Lalmurihat and Nilfamari districts remain static. And this is going to be the way during the next 24 hours. The flood forecasting said the water of the Brahmaputra River is increasing further in Sirajganj, resulting in a vast tract of croplands being inundated. The flood situation in Kurigram district has worsened further. 16 rivers surrounding the district have increased excessively as a result of 50 unions out of 73 were inundated. On the other hand, the flood situation in Nilfamari district has improved slightly. About 70 families of Dimla Upazila were given 2,000 taka each and 3,000 waterlogged families were given dry food and relief material from the district administration. In Lalmunirhat district, the Tista River has been flowing 20 centimetres above the danger level while the Dharla River is flowing 10 centimetres above the danger level. The water level of Jomuna River in Shirajgonj district has increased by 19 centimetres and flowing 28 centimetres above the danger level. As a result, the low-lying areas of river basin, including the jawlands, have been inundated and huge quantity of standing crops have gone underwater. In Shunamgonj district, the Shurma River is flowing 37 centimetres above the danger level. Due to incessant rains during the last few days, water levels of different rivers in Gaibandha district have also increased. The government has instructed the district administrations to take proper steps to address the ongoing flood situation in different parts of the country. Prime Minister's uh, Principal Secretary, Dr. Ahmed Kaikaus, gave uh, the instructions uh, through a virtual meeting today. He asked the Deputy Commissioners to take integrated initiatives involving public representatives and officials concerned to deal with the ongoing flood situation that has emerged in different districts due to heavy rainfall and to provide assistance to the flood victims during this coronavirus pandemic. Chaired by Dr. Ahmed Gaikaus, the meeting was joined, among others, through video conferencing by Secretary of the Prime Minister's Office, Mohammed Tufail Hussein Mia, Water Resources Senior Secretary, Kabir bin Anwar, Disaster Management and Relief Secretary, Mohammed Mohsin, Food Secretary, Dr. Musamad Naj Manara Khanum, Divisional Commissioners of Rongpur, Rajshahi, Silat, and Moimunshing, and Deputy Commissioners of 12 districts. 
Kabir bin Anwar highlighted the overall flood scenario of the country at the meeting, while Mohammed Mohsin informed the meeting of the relief allocated for flood victims and initiatives taken to address the flood consequences. Bangladesh a Public Service Commission, BPSC, today published final results of the 38th Bangladesh Civil Service BCS examinations, recommending 2,204 candidates for different cadres. Of the successful candidates, some 613 are general cadre, 768 education, 220 assistant surgeons, 71 dental surgeons, and 532 in other technical categories. A total of 9,862 candidates passed the written examinations, while 16,286 candidates qualified in the preliminary test held on the 29th of December 2017. More than 5 lakh 9,000 people worldwide have now lost their lives as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. This, according to the World Meter, an international survey organization. Since the virus emerged in China late last year, there have been more than four, more than one crore, four lakh, 50,000 cases. Half the world's cases have been in the US and Europe. But coronavirus is now rapidly spreading in Latin America as well. The virus is also affecting South Asia and Africa. Outbreaks are still spreading in many parts of the world with more than one million new cases recorded over the last seven days. The US has reported a total of more than 26,81,000 cases and 1,28,000 deaths with COVID-19 so far, more than any other country. U.S. states that emerged from lockdown in recent weeks, notably in the South, have been reporting record increases in new infections. The country with the second highest number of recorded cases is Brazil, with a total of 13,70,000 and deaths in excess of 58,000. The European Union has named 14 countries whose citizens are deemed safe to be let in from the 1st of July, despite the pandemic. But the United States, Brazil and China are excluded. Those named include Australia, Canada, Japan, Morocco and South Korea. Diplomats say the, East, the European Union is ready to add China if the Chinese government offered a reciprocal deal for EU travellers. Many border controls have been lifted for EU citizens travelling inside the bloc. Rules are for the UK travellers, of course, are part of the current Brexit negotiations. And now news from the world of sport. Barcelona take on Atletico Madrid in the Spanish La Liga football tonight. The match will kick off at 2 a.m. Bangladesh Standard Time at Camp Nou. The Catalans in the second position with 69 points from 32 matches. The table topper Real Madrid earned 71 points from the same matches. Atletico Madrid is in the third position with 58 points from 32 matches. Meanwhile, Juventus face Genoa in the Italian Serie A football tonight. The match will start at 1.45 a.m. Bangladesh Standard Time. Juventus is in the first position with 69 points from 28 matches. The second position holders, Lazio, bagged 65 points from the same matches. And now before we hear the news, let's take a look at what's making the headlines here. Parliament passes 5,68 crore Dhaka budget for 2021 fiscal. Country sees high at 64 COVID-19 deaths and 3,682 contaminations in the last 24 hours. Worry in capital to go under three-week lockdown from the 4th of July. 
Two more bodies found as capsized launch morning bird. Salvaged. Pro body to start working from tomorrow. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina directs assistance for journalists regardless of political affiliation, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud while distributing checks. Government distributing relief materials among flood affected people as major rivers, including Bodda and Jomuna, continue to rise. COVID-19 global death toll crosses 5,9,000 as number of infections top 1 crore 4,67,000. And in Spanish, a La Liga major match, Messi's Barcelona meet Atletico Madrid tonight. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Uh, thank you for being with us. We invite you to join us again at 11.30 for the news in Bangla. Until then, for now.